Hello viewers, uh, welcome to Easy Cloud. My name is Arvind. Today uh, we will be working on uh, creating a new uh, EC2 Windows instance and authenticating with the local users and creating AMI of that instance. So let me quickly take you to the OAWS screen. Uh, so this is the AWS console wherein we will be launching a new Windows instance. So uh, I'm going to EC2 and uh, instances in launch instance I'm gonna use the uh, Mumbai region here and uh, launch instance here I'm gonna select uh, Windows 2016 AMI so here there are many three eligible uh, versions so I'm just gonna select the Windows version here Windows Server 2016 Yes, yeah, this one, and I'm gonna have T2 micro instance type, and I'm gonna leave the uh, configuration to the default settings like uh, network, subnet, and IP, uh, public IP, and all those things. So, I'm not gonna make any changes to this. Next, add storage the default uh, volume is 30 GB, general purpose SSD, and uh, date on termination means uh, when you terminate the instance even this volume will be terminated I'm not gonna select any encryption keys for this since it's just for testing purpose and I'm gonna add a tag here so the tag is clean and it will be windows 0.0.1.6.0.1 just to name that term value I'm giving it to the tag key name next configure security group so, so security group is nothing but a uh, uh, firewall to the instance it will allow uh, which traffic to access the in instance so here I'm um, just going to give a uh, name windows so it will only uh, by default it will block all the traffic so in case if you want to allow any specific traffic you need to uh, mention it here so only if you allow the traffic here only then the particular IP or the port can can be accessed so by default it uses RDS port uh, 3389 port the default port for the RDP and I'm going to select anywhere here I'm not going to add any uh, rules here so review and launch so in case if you want you can review so we can review AMI detail instance type which we have selected, select uh, security group and instance details. We'll find all the details of the instance here. Storage, storage that we have selected, tags that we created and launch. So uh, here I already created a, a key pair but I'm still going to create a new key pair for this now. So it will be Windows, iPhone, EC2, key pair is nothing but uh, a password file that is used to authenticate the EC2 instance so um, I'm gonna launch the instance now after launching the instance yeah so uh, there's uh, two different method to access the uh, Windows instances uh, wherein I uh, can um, directly type in RDP here in your Windows machine and uh, just put in the uh, public IP address here and connect and make sure you give the username as administrator so uh, by default the username is administrator and the password we need to get it from the console so I'll show you how to do it so uh, still the instance is launching and it is in the initializing state so I'll show you how to get the password. So you have an option here called connect. Select the instance that you created, connect here and get password. If you click on the get password here, you need to upload the file that you just uh, downloaded, the PEM file, the key pair and uh, you will get the password here. So there's another method that I mentioned earlier that is download remote desktop file. If you just download it, it will download the file you don't have to copy the IP and log, uh, log in 
to the RDP so by default the file will be downloaded you just need to select it and enter the password and you'll be able to log in so let me just try it so I'm trying to get password so it's saying at least four minutes we need to wait before we go ahead and try to log into the Windows machine so let's wait till it gets uh, launched correctly Uh, Windows instance is up and running now. The status check is to try to check. Clear. So let's try to log in. So first, we let's create a password here. To get password. We need to select the file here. The file is Windows EC2 instance. Decrypt the password. Copy the password. And use this file here. Let me just download it. Log into the instance now. After logging into the instance, uh, we need to create a local user and the password, reset password and after that we can try to log in and check if it is working. So yeah, this is the instance that is created. Okay, let's uh, open the control panel. Yeah, over here uh, we have option called uh, user accounts. Here we will be creating a new account. Manage another account. Add user account. Create a user. Sorry, keep creating user Arvind. Password is So we created the user now. Alright. So let's try to access the server with the username and password that we just created. the connection was done because the user account is not authorized for remote login for by default this access of for the local user will be denied so what we have to do is uh, uh, there are two methods wherein uh, you can give change the account type to stand from standard to administrator administrator will have a full access uh, or uh, if you don't want to give a full administrative access there is another option wherein computer management You can add the user to the remote uh, group, remote desktop users group, so that uh, all the uh, people or the users in this particular group will have the access. So here, if you see local users and groups, go to the groups, you'll be able to see administrator. Administrator will have all the access. So for our user, we already given administrative access. So if you don't want to give admin access, if you just want to give the user just to log in, then go to remote desktop users here add user and give Arvind check the names go added apply and ok so the these two methods you can use so, so now let's try to log in with the username and the password so let's go to analyze use different user yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. password see yeah you can see now the you will be you are able to log in with the user that we created okay so next uh, we need to create an instance so we logged in with the local user and password now we need to create the AMA of this Windows instance so let's put the server see how uh, we are able to log in Go back to the users. This is a folder called Arvind got created. 
so we let's try to create a dummy file here like just any file just to check after creating AMI if this file exits in the new server Just one two three file which is created this here. So every time we uh, create a AMI, the server will reboot. So there is option uh, uh, to not to uh, in select not to reboot while creating the AMI. So the recommended method is to reboot because we might not get the exact data uh, if since our uh, server is not having any. Uh, um, transaction uh, right now so uh, it's fine but uh, if you are taking on any production server that time you need to use the reboot option wherein you already have any secondary server as a backup so just creating windows AMI by default it will reboot in case if you don't want to reboot you can select this option and create image so it's going to take some time here so let's go back to the AMI and check here so we are it's taking some time here around like four to five minutes so uh, let's wait till it gets created and then we'll come back and try to launch the instance so uh, we have logged into the instance with a local user created AMI of the Windows instance next what we're going to do is launch new instance with the AMI created access the new instance with the same local user and we need to check the file that we just created in the whole instance so the AMI is created let's wait so uh, the windows AMI that we created is available now so let's go ahead and launch the instance with this AMI which we just created so launch same I'm gonna I'll say t2 micro and uh, same configuration no change in any of the con configuration and same volume and tag here uh, the name we will change it we will just keep it as windows hyphen emi 001 security group uh, we can use the same security group that we used for the windows since uh, we can attach same security group for multiple uh, ec2 instances so that won't be a problem so only matters is with this as the same uh, rule which will allow to log in that is what more important and you can review it and launch i'm going to use the same key pair launch instances so yeah the instance is launching now so uh, yeah we can check the status here description and yeah then uh, so uh, we launch the new instances which we with the AMI that we just created now we're gonna access the instance with the local user that we created in the old uh, EC2 instance we're not gonna use the PEM file to log in now so we'll be using the new uh, user local user that we created in the old instance so let's go back to the console So let me just try to copy this IP RDP. It will take some time for Windows to launch. Let me just try this kind of yeah. So I'm gonna use the yeah, yeah, user. With this user let's see if it works or not so definitely it should work since uh, uh, we have taken the ami of our running so where we configured all these users so yes so we need to 
you check the file that you created in the old uh, EC instance of the language here. So once the instance is locked, let's go ahead and check that as well. So yeah, now the access to the new instance with local user that we're doing it now. Next, we will check the file. Let's check the time. Yeah, the instance is launched. Since our uh, so new instance is taking some time to log in, let's wait and check. Yeah, so if you can see here the file that we created at the old EC2 uh, instance that is there in the new instance as well. It's test 1, 2, 3. So uh, since uh, uh, because the volume or the data, anything that is there in the instance, if we take AMI, all the data inside the EC2 instance will also be taken back up. So that's why we are using AMI. So with this uh, uh, AMI, we can create a number of instances. We don't have to go ahead and do the same configuration, creating users or any installing any software inside the EC2 instance and every new instance. So. You just do it in one instance and take AMI and use it to uh, launch multiple instances. So we have achieved everything of uh, launching new instance windows and logging into the instance using RDP, con uh, using uh, a user, uh, creating new users and uh, uh, making him admin and uh, use adding users to the remote desktop user, logging into the uh, instance with a new user, creating AMI, launching new instance with the AMI created access to the new instance with local user created in old instance and checking the file that we created in the old instance everything is uh, achieved so uh, that's it from uh, my end yeah and thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please like share and uh, subscribe to our channel thank you so much